A few years ago, the original loop deck was created with photographers in mind, specifically photographers who work in Lightroom. A little bit later, they released the loop deck plus, which was very similar, but had updated buttons and knobs and better ergonomics. It was overall just a better built product. Last year, Loop Deck released the Loop Deck CT or Creative Tool. What made this product unique was that now, because it was created with a color touchscreen and buttons and knobs, you could use it with any computer in any application. Not only could you do that, but you could go in and customize what each button does in each one of those applications. And today, Loop Deck has announced the Loop Deck Live. This is an even smaller unit, very similar to the Loop Deck CT, but it is a little bit smaller and more affordable. Let's check it out. First of all, let me quickly talk about build quality. The build quality on the Loop Deck Live is identical to the build quality on the Loop Deck CT, which was fantastic. It's built out of metal. It's got these nice little rubber feet on the bottom. And the way that the buttons and knobs feel is fantastic. It really feels like a high-end product. I don't know the price of this yet because it's not out as I'm filming this but I would imagine it's not going to be the cheapest product like this on the market. But for me personally, it's worth spending a little bit more for something that's built this nice and is an actual pleasure to use. Let me give you a quick rundown of what the Loop Deck Live does. I have a bunch of different applications open on my computer and I wanna be clear that I have not customized this in any way. I simply installed the Loop Deck software and it knows what application I have open and it simply works right out of the box. You can see here it says mouse wheel vertical, and if I start turning this knob, it will scroll the page. If I wanted to take a screenshot of a piece of the screen or a part of the screen, I could hit this button right here, and you can see draw a shape to create a screen snip. I could do like that, and then boom, it saves it right there. Now check this out. I'm going to click on Adobe Lightroom over here, and everything will automatically change on the Loop Deck Live. So when you first open up the program, you can see it's ready for me to cull and rate the images. I can swipe along here and it gives me more options, or I can click on these numbers down here and it's going to take me through different tabs within Adobe Lightroom. Again, this is all automatic. It's already programmed in the second you get this out of the box. So for example, I can click on develop here and check this out. When I click on develop, everything is going to change. Because I'm in the developing module in Lightroom, it's going to show me all of the tools I need to do that developing. Once again, I can swipe through if I want more options here. And again, if you wanna get crazy and you wanna customize this, you can do that as well. And you can set each one of these buttons to do whatever you want. Now, if you don't wanna click over to develop and map and book and slideshow and all that, you can click on these numbers down here. So I've gone back over to library on the screen. I'm going to click number two here, and you can see it automatically pulls up the develop module there and changes all of my settings here as well. So here's a quick drone shot, and without using the mouse at all, I'm just gonna go through and edit this really quickly. First of all, I'm just gonna boost my exposure a little bit. Looks like my temperature's a little blue. Let's warm that up just a little bit. Mess with contrast. Let's see if I can recover some of those highlights. I will also recover some of those shadows. Maybe I'll boost the contrast a little bit more. So as you can see, the main sliders that you're gonna be using are mapped automatically to these six rotator knobs on the side. If I click number four down here, it's going to take me to my HSL panel. You can see that here. See right here where it says tone high hue. If I start turning this, you can see it starts changing my highlights right there. If I click the red slash orange HSL dial, it gives me HSL right here. And again, I can control each one of these, the saturation, the hue, and the luminance, all right here. So if I click the yellow and green, there's lots of yellow and green here. You can see I can turn this hue knob. I can make it fall very easily, or I can really make these trees green. Now, if I wanted to crop in, I could hit the crop tool right here turn this knob and it'll crop in. I can also turn this knob here to rotate. I think my horizon's perfectly straight though. And then if I wanted to apply this, I can just hit apply crop. Now, if you're looking for a loop deck to exclusively work in Lightroom, I probably wouldn't suggest this. I would push you towards the loop deck plus. Everything that you need for Lightroom is right in front of you with a physical button and it's always in the exact same place. I think that's going to be a little bit faster to use than this, but if you're looking for something that you can use with any application, 
this might be better for you. Check this out. If I click over to Spotify here, the loop deck will change again. I can start playing music. I probably shouldn't because I will get flagged by YouTube. I can change the volume here. I can choose my tracks here. I can navigate through songs and I can click it to play. I can go to random. I can continue playing the song on loop. I can like the songs or heart the songs to remember them. And then I can mute here as well. Now, of course, this also works with Adobe Premiere as well. And for a lot of the buttons and stuff, I've memorized the shortcuts with my left hand already. But there is one feature that I really like with this, and it's the ability to color grade this when my video is full screen. Now, when I'm on my dual 27 inch monitors that are right over there. It's fine, I have plenty of screen real estate. But when I'm on the road and I'm using a laptop, I find it very difficult to see this screen over here and grab all these sliders. I always wanna see it larger than this. And so I find myself kinda pushing everything out of the way. It's just a very slow process. So it's cool that you can go full screen on your laptop here, move all of the controls to the Loop Deck Live, and then you can turn these knobs and see full screen what you're doing. Let's check out Loop Deck software here. Once again, if I click into the software, the Loop Deck Live changes immediately. And this is where you can come in and customize everything. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on everything that you can do in this program. Definitely check out Loop Deck's YouTube channel. They have incredible tutorials there. But you can basically do whatever you want. So if you have specific shortcuts and specific programs that you want to show up on this, you can do it. You can go beyond that and even upload your own custom thumbnails. And let's say you are a superpower user, you can create macros as well. So let's say you wanna hit one button and you want it to be able to do five or 10 different things. This software can do that as well. This is huge for streamers. I don't know if you guys have seen, but we also created a F Stoppers Live YouTube channel. We're not doing video game streaming, but we're doing other live video events on that channel and I need something like this because there's so many times where I want to switch cameras, but when I switch cameras, I might want the audio to switch as well, or I might want the lighting to switch, or I might wanna hit a button and I might want text to come up and then move. I do that manually right now with the software that we have, and it is a huge pain in the butt. So if you put the time in and you can program something like this to do exactly what you want, this can be an incredibly powerful tool. So who is the Loop Deck Live for? I like to call them power users, computer power users, people who love tinkering, they love shaving off seconds, and they have tons of different applications and things that they're doing every single day, and they want the fastest, most precise way to get work done. You know who you are, and when you see a product like this, you go, yeah, that's what I've been waiting for, I'm gonna buy that. The majority of complaints that I saw about the Loop Deck CT were from people who I don't really think the product was made for. They were saying things like, why would I click on this when I can just use my mouse and click on it on the screen? And you're absolutely right. In some cases, it is faster just to use a mouse. But if you put the time in and you customize it to what you want and all of the tools that you use on a daily basis, using something like this could save you a ton of time. But if you're a photographer and you find yourself exclusively working in Lightroom and that's where you wanna speed up your workflow, I highly suggest the Loop Deck Plus. But if you find yourself working in other applications all the time and you wanna streamline all of them and you also want a much smaller, more customizable package, check out the Loop Deck CT and this, the Loop Deck Live.